You know, when I was a kid and somebody said, hey, we're having meatloaf today, it was, oh, no. You know, the only one who could make meatloaf was grandma. And even hers was kind of, oh, no. So here's the deal. When a bunch of us here on YouTube got together and decided we were going to do a collab called hashtag don't let your meatloaf, the first thing I thought of was, oh, no. Now, I've done meatloaf before here on the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. I've done it two other times, and they came out really good. But can I do it a third time? Well, then I thought I need to start experimenting, and this is what I came up with. All right, you ready to do some meatloaf? Let's do it. So with like most other things of this caliber, it starts with the veggies. Now, I've gone with pre-sliced veggies, and the reason being is because it's super hot out. It's summertime, and they just make sense. Cost you a little bit more, but you know what? You're going to save a boatload of time. Let's grab a couple of each color. Mushrooms. Mushrooms are easy to take care of. All right, these are ready to rock and roll. We're going to put them down on the Cuisinart grill, start cooking them up. All right, we got our veggies all mixed up. I'm going to put them down on the flat top. Now, yes, I do have a lot of veggies, but here's the deal. I don't have to use them all. And since we're only doing about a pound of burger, I think what we have on here is going to be just fine. I'm going to turn the heat down, let those kind of simmer up. And it's time to start on our burger. Now for our meatloaf, I have a secret ingredient. That's right, it's Cheetos. We're going to use the Cheetos as part of the binder. Instead of using, you know, like pork rinds, if you're going keto or breadcrumbs, anything like that, we're using Cheetos. It tastes great. I've got quite a lot in here. That's okay. I'm going to try to get as much air out as possible. Vodka bottle. You've seen me do this before. Pork rinds with using like a wine bottle and another vodka bottle. It works. Works actually works really good. And I'll remind you too, I got to do a refill if you're into that kind of thing. If you're not, don't refill it. I've also done with this bread with bread before as well. Okay, cool. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's get our burger going. So I got a little bit of a pro tip for you before we put this burger in. Once your gloves are on, they're on. So make sure that everything you're going to use in your mix is already open, ready to go. So I know earlier also I said that I had a pound of burger. And actually this is about a pound and three quarters. So considerable amount more than what I realized. Just get in there, mix that stuff up really well. I'm going to take two eggs. Crack them in here. Now normally for something for meatloaf, I like to do about an egg per pound. But because this is kind of an odd measurement when it comes to the meatloaf, I'm going to do two. All right, so we got a good mix there. Now normally salt, pepper, garlic would work. I'm going with some Galindo's Texas barbecue. It's got salt, pepper, garlic, onion in it. And I don't need a whole heck of a lot. All right, you know what time it is? Time for some Cheetos. Throw a little Cheetos down in there. Mix them in. Throw some more in. 
A Cheetos actually adds a really cool depth of flavor to this. Same thing as, you know, like a pork rind would. The reason why I'm going with Cheetos, for one, is this is just a fun collab. And two, I do want that flavor because, you know, bread doesn't really add flavor. It's just there to kind of hold things together. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of heavy cream on here. You can use milk, whatever. I don't need a whole heck of a lot. They're looking good. I'm going to throw a little cheese down. Mix that cheese inside of it. And the cheese will also act as a binding agent. But I don't want too much cheese in this at this point. All right. Our meat's looking good. Our veggies are cooking away. We'll be right back as soon as those veggies are ready to put in here. Our veggies have cooled down. I think it's time to put it into our meatloaf. And you put in as much as you want, or as little as you want. I mean, technically, do you even have to put veggies in here? I don't know. What makes a meatloaf? That is a good question. That's your homework assignment for this week. What makes a meatloaf? So all those veggies that we cut up, I put in here. All right, we got a good mix. Now, here's the fun part. We're going to make burgers out of these. Now, I got to figure out how to make a one-handed burger. <laughs> oh, I wonder. <laughs> oh, here we go. There. <laughs> there we go. Pat it down. I'm going to put it in there for a moment. Try to make another one. Because we're making meatloaf hamburgers. I've heard of meatloaf sandwich before. I've never really seen meatloaf burgers. And I figure, what the heck? You know, you can make a burger out of turkey and chicken, whatever you want. All right, we got these two. I'm going to put them down on the Cuisinart. All right, I got my two burgers. Put them down onto the Cuisinart. And then we're going to kind of almost treat them like a smash burger. Now we're using 8515 beef on this. So you know you're going to get some shrinkage. And that's natural shrinkage. That is not, hey man, I was in the pool and I got some shrinkage. This is some natural shrinkage. All right, those burgers look great. We're going to let them do, do their time on the Cuisinart. We'll take them off and put them on a bun, finish them up. We'll see you then. Meatloaf's been on the flat top for about five minutes, and I think it's time to check it out. We're starting to get some brownage along the sides here, and it's starting to harden up. But I don't think it's quite time to flip. They're looking good, though. All right, I'm going to give... You know what? Let's flip them. What the hell? Yeah, okay. Good call. Good call on the flip. Turn that heat down to low, that way, because the burgers are thick, make sure that that heat can get all the way through the burgers for a good meatloaf. All right, see you in a bit. Another five minutes down, I just checked the temp on the meatloaf burgers, and they're coming in at about 160. I think it's time to put some cheese on, but first I want to flip them. Give you guys kind of a look, see at what's going on. That looks a little bit more like a traditional meatloaf right there. That's a cool shot. Get that cheese on the top. We already got cheese inside of it, but you can't go wrong with cheese, right? Perfect. Let these things cook down a little bit more. Let that cheese melt. I think it's time to take them off. In the meantime, I'm going to get everything ready for the burgers. Start prepping them. All right. See you in a moment. Our cheese is pretty much melted. Now, I have everything here that I need for a successful burger. But since this is not a traditional burger, I'm not going to put traditional ketchup on it. I'm going to use some Oma and Poppy's Drunk Uncle Sauce. These guys are local here in Idaho. I'll put a link down below to their site. They're not a sponsor, but man, they make some killer, killer sauces. Take that first one off.
then the second. Those look good just by themselves. True story. Put some Oman Poppy's Drunk Uncle on here. I don't know why they call it Drunk Uncle. I'll tell you what, it's pretty good. Perfect. Put a couple of red onions on the top here. We got plenty of onions in here already, but since this is kind of a burger, we're going to go with that. This is Mrs. Dude's. I'm not going to mess with hers. Take some lettuce. So we got to keep it healthy, right? Throw some lettuce on there. All right, come on, tomato. Throw a tomato if you're down with tomatoes. You don't have to. Couple pickles. I'm going to put some mayo down. And there you have it. A meatloaf burger fit for a king. Or poppers like you and me. All right, let's try this out. Well, like I promised, it's time to try these out. Things a monster. Mmm. That's a good monster, though. Dang. Mmm. Wow. I know I say this all the time, but I'll say it again. Everything about this burger just comes together. That meatloaf in there. It's fantastic flavors in there. Absolutely fantastic. You had some of this Oma and Poppy's Drunk Uncle on here. Man, I, I'd like to meet that Drunk Uncle. This is good stuff. All right, you saw how we made it. Tell me how it is. Remember to look up hashtag don't let your meatloaf. I'll talk to you soon. Take care, guys.